right, what's up guys? Hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You're on a drive with me today. It's a bumpy road we on. And um, I just wanted to speak on a few things real quick. I pray you uh, guys are blessed. And I want to talk a little bit about um, a, some stuff the Lord has been sharing with me. Okay. First and foremost, I'm not going to apologize for my last video about the flat earth. However, I did take it down. I don't care what you believe in. It doesn't matter if the earth is flat or round. It doesn't matter, okay? We're still brothers and sisters in Christ. All I was trying to do was just share something that I got. And um, it's just sad that we can't have a spiritually mature conversation without people arguing and name calling and all this crazy stuff, man. It's just totally uncalled for and not fruit of the Lord, so. Anyways, I took it down, did not cause a whole bunch of people to stumble. I had to shut the comments down. Again, it doesn't matter if the earth is flat or round, okay? If you believe Jesus Christ is Lord, then you're my brother, you're my sister. If you pick up your cross daily and follow after him, then amen, okay? So moving forward, let's move on. Um, and I'll just be more careful in the future about not handling certain spiritually mature topics that like 30% of the body of Christ on YouTube can seem to handle. Uh, next. Okay, check this out. A lot of you guys have vices, right? A lot of you guys smoke cigarettes. Some of you guys smoke cigarettes. Some people struggle with anger, myself included. Um, I do struggle from time to time. We do a lot of driving. We're pretty much driving every day with our ministry. And man, there's a lot of bad drivers and it brings out that, that anger in me sometimes and I repent constantly and God was showing me that. And it's not just that though. Some of you guys like struggle with lust. Some of you guys struggle with still with uh, different types of uh, prescription medication or pharmacia or hopefully not too much pharmacia, but pharmacia. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of God's people, and they're seeking the Lord. They love the Lord. They're totally like committed to the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord showed me this I just seen it man like all of his people he allows those things to keep that speck in your eye to keep you humble all right and and if you think that you're living totally holy and righteous and that you're a sinless person you're a liar the Bible says it in first John it says if any man said that he have no sin he's a liar right but we should not sin it's not good to sin because it says in Hebrews 9, without holiness, no one will see God. So we need to strive. Now here's something else on this topic and I'm gonna to get to the point here. Jesus said, be ye holy for I am, or perfect, for I am perfect, right? In the English, we'll look that word up sometimes, guys, in the Aramaic and in the Greek, it means spiritually mature. Jesus Christ didn't say be perfect, he said be spiritually mature. We should never sin or give any ground to sin whatsoever. But about 90% of you, myself included, again, I from time to time get um, anger. And um, I rebuke it and I cast it out. But God keeps those specks in our eyes to keep us humble. Because once you think that you don't have any sin and that you are holy and perfect, dude, you're not going to be holy and perfect until you leave this dirt suit and you're perfected up to the image of Christ and the new man, you're in the spirit, okay? So uh, anybody teaching that, like both sides are wrong, you know what I mean? That's how God does things. He balances the truth right in the middle. Whenever you think you got something figured out, it's not. It's the truth is right in the middle, man. You got to stay balanced in all things. So, uh, oh, anyway, so God was saying that all these specs that his people have, He's gonna start removing stuff. A lot of you guys are going through suffering, hardship, trials, adversities like never before in your life. You're losing people that are really close to you. You're um, people that you thought were solid, solid in the Lord are falling away. It's crazy, right? And um, it's really sad, but it's all happening for a purpose and for a reason. God's using it right now to try to get his people as clean as possible before these this times begin. We're about to start something, guys, like never before. Everything's about to change. I mean, I, I'm just gonna be for real with you guys and just lay out my heart here. 
and just speak from the heart. And if you guys want to make fun of me, then fine. Whatever, man. You know, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm done tolerating stupidness in the comments. If you want to dog on me, that's between you and the Lord. I don't care. Um, I'll probably just. Sometimes I keep the stupid comments because they're so stupid. Sometimes I keep the stupid comments so people can pray for those people because obviously they need help. And sometimes I just straight up remove them and block that person. So it all depends. But I'm just going to open my heart here and just speak from the heart with you guys. Man, the past couple like weeks, man, I mean, I'm really, really forcing this evangelism out here. It's really, really difficult, man. And I've, it's always been a, a struggle because of spiritual warfare. But there was always like... God always makes supernatural provision spiritually, like emotionally and spiritually, right? But these past couple days and like about a week and a half, two weeks, I have felt like no drive whatsoever to go out and evangelize. Like I used to love picking up a loudspeaker, just proclaiming the gospel. Like I, so a part of my soul felt fulfilled when I would do that for years. And that is gone now. And, I, and I'm and i praying about it. And I'm really praying, man. And I'm asking God, you know, God, please, what, what's going on? And he's showing me, man, things are about to change, guys. Your comfort zones are about to come crashing down. Everything's going to change. Okay? Like, I don't even feel the desire to do that. Like, I still talk to people about Jesus every day, and I still give people tracks. And sometimes the anointing of God will come on me. And sometimes, you know, it happens. But, like, because it's going to be God's will no matter what. But I, I feel like the Spirit is like, get ready. He's like, it's like the Spirit of God is saying, like, get your house in order. Get ready now. Like, prepare yourself. Remember that guy? What was that guy? David Dana Coverstones? He did a word, like, black. Like, uh, not last September, but the September before, where he was like, brace yourself, brace yourself, brace yourself. Remember that guy? I feel like right now is the time for that word. Like, maybe God gave it to that guy and gave people more time. But I don't know, man. I don't want to start being like Dana Coverstone and being like, that's it, the clock's smashing, we're all, it's, it's over on this day and this time at this month, because God hates it when people do that, man. Don't ever put a day or a time or a month around anything. The Lord said in his word, he said, no man knoweth the day or the hour, not even the angels in heaven, but yet you're more mighty than the angels in heaven, and you know the precise time and location of the Lord's return, right? So anyways, I don't know guys, my heart, it's not cold, it's not bitter, I feel like it's time to get prepared in the spirit, guys, because everything is about to change. The urges and fulfillment in my spirit I used to have to go out and cast demons out of people and preach the gospel from the rooftops, like it fulfilled me in the spirit, man. I felt like I was fulfilling my purpose with the Lord in this life for what he saved me for this hour. I don't feel it no more, guys. And we don't go by feelings. We go by the word of God. So I'm still out there and I'm still doing it. And it, it's just, it's like God's trying to tell me Get ready for something else because it's about to come raining down on everybody's head. You know, and I don't want to propagate fear. I had somebody say that the other day that I was propagating fear. Look, we don't propagate fear. We know who we are in the Lord Jesus Christ and who he is inside of each one of us. And a lot of us carry the mantle of a watchman or a watchwoman. And in this hour, we're crying out to make straight the way of the Lord. It is time. But I'm telling you, I think that time has come to an end. I think the time to make straight for the way of the Lord is over. Okay? And I think it's time to, where it says in Isaiah, go into your rooms, my people. Right? That scripture. Somebody please help me out and post it in the comments and we'll do a word study on it. The scripture where God says, go into your, um, room, go into your rooms and just hunker down for a bit and press into the word. I think that's the season we're coming into right now. I can feel it. So I don't know. I could be totally wrong about all this, but I mean, I speak to God pretty much all day, every day. I'm even, I know this is sad and stupid, but I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I don't even know who, how many people have listened to the video this far. So, you know, I'm just gonna say it. I'm literally praying for the Holy Spirit to just sit me down, not in a bad way, not with an accident, 
not with a tragedy, not with a death, but I would like for him to just sit me down and, and learn at his feet like I did before I started ministry. I used to spend hours in the presence of the Lord just sitting before him and speaking with him. He would show me mysteries and revelations and I consumed the word of God and get filled with that holy word every day for hours on end. And then I got shot out into ministry and I, he gave me everything I needed. I'm praying to God for those times to come back before we start this horrible tribulation hell that's about to begin. That would be nice. But if not, I don't care. Let his will be done. You know what I mean? Let his will be done in all things, guys. And I'm sorry a lot of you guys are going through what you're going through right now. Trust me, I feel it too. Let me make it up this hill here. I feel it too. I know it's hard, man. We're all suffering a lot right now. But praise God, because Paul says that I may know him in the fellowship of his sufferings. If you're suffering, Christ is more near to you than ever. I went through a horrible divorce years ago. And um, I'm not going to talk bad or say anything wicked or, or bad about my ex-wife. It was a horrible, horrible situation, man. There was adultery involved and it was just an awful, awful thing. And these people on YouTube were like make, calling me out and making fun of me for it. And blasting me videos and rebuking me in the middle of it. It was like, you know, when you're down, the enemy likes to kick you in the teeth when you're already down. And somebody already punched you in the balls, you know. And that's how the devil works through religious people. But now I praise God for it because I look back on those times. He was with me more in that moment of my most suffering in this walk with him than at any time ever. So I know you guys are going through it. But just know that he is with you. Press into him. Close your eyes. Remove yourself from the situation. Turn off your cell phones. Meditate on Deuteronomy 8. For to love the Lord your God with all your mind, all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. Even in the midst of your fiery trial, guys. I love you very much. Sorry, I'm just ranting. But I feel the Spirit of God moving right now. I feel the Spirit of God moving. Times are changing. Things are shifting. Doors are closing. Relationships are being removed. Cords of witchcraft are being cut. Defilement is being exposed. False doctrine is boiling to the surface. It's time for a purification. And that's what's taking place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.